is gaming like dead slash dying slash in a weird space or am I just 30 years old? <laughs> and I knew on Twitter, I wanted to say you're 30 years old. Because me and uh, Jamie had a discussion about this, right? So JME, right? Because he compared it to music and how like, let's say 20 years ago in the, in the music scene industry, there was like labels and there would be the t top 10 artists in each like sector, in each genre. So there'd be like the five bands, 10 bands, there'd be five, 10 rappers, there'd be five, 10 girl bands or whatever, boy bands or pop stars. And then for one, for a new one to come to the scene, typically someone fell off and left. But now there's oversaturation in music entirely. So the way we can shoot music now is like you listen to a song and you just pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Like you hear a TikTok song and by next week you've forgotten it. And it's something else. And typically I like listen to every playlist we have, or at least my playlist, all older songs. So then, it, so that's what Jamie said, right? So in a way, like streaming services have, and oversaturation has killed music in different ways in how you consume it and how long it lasts in longevity of music. So is, the, is gaming exactly the same? Because it like, in a, like, let's say late 2000s, like it's in that early, like the 2010, before 2010, you had new IPs like Assassin's Creed, like Halo, Gears of War, Call of Duty, I'm gonna miss so many games. There's so many new IPs that came through that were massive, like massive games that still are here now. Fable, Red Dead. I mean, like, it was like constant, like massive IPs being dropped, like and, and exclusives for each console. Mass Effect, yeah, exactly. So like, now, <laughs> what's the, like, I was thinking like, in the, like for PS5 versus Series X, what game is like the standout game for that console race? So I, I can't remember which one it is. What game it was? Was it like Forza Horizon maybe was the one game? And then Spider-Man PlayStation? I guess COVID is also a big part of this, right? Maybe, I assume. But then are we also, as like humans, are we just like, what's the word? Sport brats. That like now our, our expectations are like up here and our attention spans are up like up here. So now like game comes out, uh, ain't great. I'll put it down, never touch it again. Where maybe 10 years ago, you pick something up and go, it's not great, but I'm sure they'll update it soon. And you'd play it for three more weeks and then eventually you'll do it. It's weird, isn't it? I just don't know. But now, it, then it's movies the same. Like, has there been like, cause see, like, I think I saw like a TikTok about it where like, typically a lot of movies these days are Fast and Furious next one, like next Avengers part of the films. You know what I mean? Like let's, let's add more to the series and the IP because we know as an audience and as a like the, the the film company, it's gonna get money to say it's gonna be sold, and it's gonna get watched. And as a viewer, you're gonna watch it just because it's part of the series. But I guess in, in movie, I guess in the same uh, no, movies, I think does better though, right? Because like I guess like because the way Netflix is and stuff, there's a lot of like, you know, I guess movies is <laughs> I can't Netflix. And I'm like, which one? Do, what do I watch? There's too much stuff to watch. It's music, games, and movies. Isn't it just age? No, because like for me, like I don't. I don't mean to, I, I like I actually think I don't think it's actually a me issue because I'm because I think others say the same thing in different age groups. I think it definitely plays a part though. I think when when you're in school, like every everyone plays the same game. Maybe if I was a school kid, I'd be like, yeah, Fortnite, man, that's the one. Roblox, Fortnite, me up all day long. <laughs>